Can someone give me a reasonable explanation as to why President Trump did not warrant stronger Secret Service? From Fox News, Mayorkas denied repeated requests for more Secret Service protection for Trump, GOP lawmaker says. Now, this is interesting. A House Republican lawmaker is alleging that Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas denied stronger Secret Service protection for former President Trump multiple times. Mike Waltz made the accusations hours after Trump was grazed by a bullet at his Saturday Pennsylvania rally. Quote, I have very reliable sources telling me there have been repeated requests for stronger Secret Service protection for President Trump, denied by Secretary Mayorkas. The Homeland, House Homeland Security Committee is planning on investigating reports that Trump was denied stronger Secret Service protection before the rally. Now, I need you to pay attention to something because these words all matter. Look at what he says. I have, a very I have very reliable sources. So it's not just one person. It's not like his grandmother got a premonition and she's thinking to herself that I think that somebody's gonna get, gonna get axed and shot at. That's not what's happening. This lawmaker said, I have very reliable sources. What does that mean to you? Well, well let me tell you what it means. It means he has somebody inside Homeland Security. You do know that not every person at Homeland Security, not every person working for the government is a Democrat. You do know that there are some that are, well, Republicans. There are some that are patriotic. There are some that want that border closed. I have very reliable sources telling me there have been repeated requests. So it's not just one request. There have been repeated requests for stronger Secret Service. What does that mean to you? No, 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 I want to know, what does that mean to you? That word, stronger. I'm sorry, let me ask you a different way. Do you think all Secret Service agents are all created equal? In other words, if you get one, you get the best. And they're all on the same, on the same par. You're a moron if that's what you think. And there's a reason he's saying stronger, stronger Secret Service because you have some that just got there. You've got some that have five weeks experience. And then you have some that have been there for 20 years. Which ones would you want on your detail? Let's say that you and your wife are in hostile territory. Do you want the person that's been there for three weeks or do you want the person that's been there for five years? So when he says stronger, my guess is that's what he's talking about. Why was it denied? Why was it denied? Well, what was the reason? I'm, I'm, quote, the committee has seen these reports. Now, that's all you really need to know. They've already seen the reports. Hmm, I wonder how he got those reports. Well, I just told you, because he probably has somebody inside Homeland Security. And every single time those requests come in, this person has seen that request. And he knows, for a fact, Alejandro Mayorkas continually denies it. He already gave these reports to his committee. That means that Democrats know as well. Oh, you do know that there are some that are Democrats that are on the Intelligence Committee, and he's already given it to them as well. They know it too as well, and are going to be conducting thorough oversight into what happened both leading up to and in the immediate aftermath of the attempted assassination of President Trump. Obviously, such reports are deeply troubling and demand investigation. They've seen the reports already. That's why he said, I have a very reliable sources. I have very reliable sources sources. One rally attendee was killed. Two others were injured after a shooter opened fire at former president campaign rally, according to Secret Service statement. 
Waltz, a member of the House Intelligence Committee, would not elaborate on his comments when Fox News Digital reached out. Fox News Digital also reached out to Department of Homeland Security for comment. That's in addition to House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, who publicly called on Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle to publicly testify before his panel. The Oversight Committee will send a formal invitation soon. Now, you guys all know that Kimberly ain't the bottom line. I can guarantee you that as she is Secret, uh, Secret Service Director, I guarantee you there's, there's some conversations happen, happening with Alejandro and 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 Christopher Ray that Kimberly don't have a clue about. I I can I can guarantee you that. Because all you need is one person near or at the top. That's all you need. How many people go beyond her? I'm, hey, you know, hey, hey, I'm not Secret Service. Who knows? I'm just trying to make sense of this. U.S. Secret Service pokes, uh, spokesperson Anthony, who gives a crap, posted on X, quote, there's an untrue assertion that a member of the former president's team requested additional, additional security resources and that those were rebuffed. This is absolutely false. In fact, we added protective resources and technology and capabilities as part of the increased campaign travel tempo. Close quote. What do you get from that? You got to understand something. Uh, when you are reading uh, writings from these uh, satanic, uh, demonically possessed uh, garbage people, you got to be able to critically analyze each and every syllable. So let's do that, shall we? Um, there's an untrue assertion that a member of the former president's team requested additional. He never said that. That was never an assertion. He never said that. He just said, I have multiple sources reliable sources that tell me that on multiple occasions, each time that President Trump asked for stronger secret service, he's denied. He didn't say it was a person. Never said that. Former president's team requested additional security resources and that they were rebuffed. This is absolutely false. Oh, is that so? In fact, we added protective resources and technology and capabilities as part of, as part of, as part of the increased campaign travel tempo. What does that sound like to you? Well, it's probably routine. And that's what he's telling you. As part of the increased campaign travel tempo. Once the campaign starts to pick up steam, this is probably the things that they give you. And Donald Trump's team is saying, we need stronger. They did this as like a template. This is just what we do. You understand that, don't you? Here's the question. Once you gave this technology and capabilities and more resource, did Trump made a, did, did Trump request more stronger secret service detail? Once you pr provided this wonderful, wonderful, you know, in sort of in technology capability, once you did that, were there still requests made? I'm, I'm, um, you know, Okay, I got to show you guys something. Uh, take a look at this. All of a sudden, uh, mayhem, you know, ensued. And uh, we heard probably three to four shots uh, ring out. And, uh, you know, uh, most of the crowd had, had hit the ground after that. Um, you know, we heard uh, several more shots ring out um, that sounded, uh, you know, a lot more powerful. Uh, we assumed that it was, you know, secret service. 
What you see standing there are two women. It's part of the detail. Purpose, Keep watching. Because they were a lot closer. Um, and then, uh, you know, we, we, we looked up and uh, you could see in the stands that there were several bodies, unfortunately, that were on the ground. Um, there was a good deal of blood. Keep watching. And it looked like law enforcement was uh, carrying a body out. Um, you know, we weren't sure, you know, who it might have been. Notice, President Trump is taller than the secret agent, the female secret agent. He's taller than her. His head should have never even been exposed. Just pay attention. Uh, but the next thing that I knew, Sean, was uh, we looked up and we saw the president. He stood uh, proud. Uh, Secret Service had helped him up and he pumped his fist at the crowd. And, uh, you know, the crowd went nuts. You know, we, we started chanting USA. And, uh, you know, there was a sense of relief, I think, that uh, overcame us because we were just happy. One woman, two other women. Now, I'm not saying that they, they cannot be just as, you know, effective. I'm just saying he probably wants people that are at the very minimum bigger and taller than him. That's probably where the word stronger comes from. Um, this all stinks to high heaven. I mean, it's got a stench. But once again, I'm not saying a woman can't do it. I'm sure they can. But my guess is the cream of the crop are more like the Dan Bonginos. The cream of the crop are those guys that are big, burly and tower over Trump. That's just my guess. Hey, don't call me a, 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 you know, misogynistic pig just because I think that, well, men would provide better protection because I do. All right, that's it for now. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.